Toledo, the giant killers in the past, knocking off Michigan in 2008 and looking to make some noise and do the same against top ranked Notre Dame. The Rockets on the road in South Bend, taking on the Irish. Opening drive for Notre Dame quarterback Jack Cohn connects with a wide open Michael Mayer for the score and the, and the Irish are out to an early 7-0 lead. Second quarter, Tyler Bushner, the handoff to Kyron Williams. He takes off down the sideline and into the end zone for the touchdown and that makes it 14-6 Notre Dame. Under a minute left before the break, Cohn picked off Chris McDonald with his first career interception. Touchdown Toledo and the Rockets with the lead at the half. In the fourth quarter, Carter Bradley flips it to Bryant Kobach, finds an opening and takes it in for the score. After a failed two-point attempt, Toledo trails it by just two. 135 remaining, Daquan Finn calling his own number and just fools everyone. A 26-yard touchdown run, Toledo in front, 29-24. Notre Dame, though, marches right back down the field. Cone to Mayer again, 32-29 the final, a heartbreaker for the Rockets, and our Joel Sebastianelli was there for it all. This was the first true home game for Notre Dame in 658 days, a crowd of about 80% capacity, mostly sauntered in just in time for a flyover and a century's worth of iconic pomp and circumstance. 17-point favorites, it was easy to get the idea that this was supposed to be some kind of coronation. It most certainly was not. Not for the first 58 minutes, 28 seconds, as Toledo had a five-point upset in hand, and not in the final minute and a half. Five UT penalties, a three-play Notre Dame TD drive, and a fumble. What would have been the biggest upset in school history slips away. Well, leading up to the game, I think everybody wants to hear about what a cool experience this is going to be for your kids and what a great time it is like to go to Notre Dame. And what it, like our kids don't, they don't want to hear that. They want to go win the football game. You know what I mean? Like we're not, we're not here for an experience. I mean, this is a great, great environment. It's one of the top environments in college football. There's no question about it. All those things are that that are assumed are real. But the competitor in you and the fight in you, you want to go win the game. Back and forth, right to the end, and each each school probably thought they had it won once or twice. And um, but that's that's the beauty of college football. That's the pageantry we all have missed, and, and that's what we love about our great game. An underdog team from Toledo can come and play in one of the historic programs in the country and put up a fight for 60 minutes and, and be right there and have a chance to win the game. We're a tough group. We're not going to stop. Yeah, you know, we're competitive. We're gritty. And when that clock strikes zero at the end of the fourth, you know, we're we're going to fight. Tough to look for silver linings amidst heartbreak and golden domes, but Toledo forced consistent defensive pressure up front. Um, I mean, we knew we were getting in the head. We knew we were putting up a good fight, you know, as we expected we were. Uh, we knew we weren't just going to lay down, and so we just, we, you know, we just got to clean some stuff up. I hit home on some plays that they got to the quarterback, and I thought they disrupted the rhythm a little bit there, and uh, Notre Dame made one more play than we made at the end. This is a team that believes in each other and believes it sent a message. We're not going to quit. We're going to fight. You know, and that's what Toledo is. We're a blue collar city. We fight, we get everything we earn. There's a lot of good that came out of the night, this afternoon. I think the guys know that in this locker room and uh, we're ready for next week. Oh yeah, I'm proud of the team. Like I told a couple of the guys, since I've been here three years, my third year, I've never seen us be that tough. So I love what we had. Time to regroup and re-energize. Colorado State comes to the Glass Bowl next Saturday. In South Bend, Joel Sebastianelli, BCSN.